Shalom, Yeladim. Today I have a new story for you. This one is called Sammy Spider's First Shabbat. You know, I like reading Sammy Spider's stories. And the, the author of this story and of all the Sammy Spider stories is Sylvia Roos. The illustrator is Catherine Janice Khan. Sammy Spider's First Shabbat. Let's see. A day, a day starts with sunrise, then morning, afternoon, sunset, evening, and night. Early Friday morning, Sammy Spider looked out the Shapiro's kitchen window. Josh was turning on the garden hose. Suddenly, a spray of water hit the window and Sammy jumped back, snapping a strand of his web. Mother, he called as he began to fall. Mrs. Spider caught Sammy mid-air. What's Josh doing? Sammy asked, catching his breath. He's watering the flower beds, she explained. Tonight, when the family gathers for Shabbat dinner, Mrs. Shapiro will put fresh flowers on the table. Will we celebrate Shabbat too? Sammy asked. Silly little Sammy, answered Mrs. Spider. Spiders don't celebrate Shabbat. Spiders spin webs. And you need to fix the new hole in ours. I'll fix it later, said Sammy. He was busy watching Mr. Shapiro unpack a bag full of gro groceries for Shabbat dinner. Sammy looked down at all the food. I wish I could celebrate Shabbat, he thought. But when he saw his torn web reflected in the wine bottle, he remembered his mother's words. Spiders don't celebrate Shabbat. Spiders spin webs. I'll fix it later, thought Sammy following Josh into the dining room. Josh put the bottle of wine on the table. He took out the kiddush cups and candlesticks and put them next to the wine. He put candles into the candlesticks. The tablecloth reminded Sammy of a huge spider web and he remembered the hole in his web. Oh, I'll fix it later, he thought. Instead, he wandered back into the kitchen. Josh had finished lunch and he was helping Mrs. Shapiro make challah. She kneaded the dough and divided it into three parts. Josh rolled each strip and placed them side by side. Mrs. Shapiro took one strip and crossed it over the middle strip. Then she took another strip and crossed it back over the other way left over the middle, then right over the middle, she said. She did this again and again until the bread was braided. Sammy watched carefully. Left over middle, then right over the middle, he repeated, practicing on the strands of his web. The effort made him tired and he dozed off. While Sammy slept, Josh went up to his bedroom. It was time to clean up his toys. Sammy woke up to the sound of music. The sun was setting. The Shapiros were gathered around the dinner table singing, Shabbat Shalom. I wish I could celebrate Shabbat, Sammy thought as he watched Mrs. Shapiro light the candles and recite the bracha. Everyone sang the blessings over the wine and challah. Mrs. Spider crawled over to Sammy and gave him a hug. My goodness, you have fixed our web, she exclaimed. To his surprise, Sammy saw that the web ha had been neatly braided just like a Shabbat challah. Look at that. Sammy listened while Mr. Shapiro read Josh a bedtime story. He climbed up his web and fell asleep. The next morning, Sammy watched Josh get dressed for synagogue. He chose his favorite sweater and kippah. 
When the Shapiros left for Shabbat services, Sammy climbed up his web and noticed a tiny new hole. I wish I could celebrate Shabbat, he told his mother. But I guess I need to fix our web again. I remember how. Left over the middle, right over the middle, he said. I guess I'll do it now. Oh no, smiled Mrs. Spider. Shabbat is a day of rest. You can fix it later. The end. So, not only did Sammy learn how to braid just like the Hala, but he also learned that on Shabbat we rest. Bye everyone.